when I look at it now, this capital of yours is pretty prosperous. Far cry from Beaumont. Is that how you see it, Mia? Well, am I wrong? Your technology is so much more advanced than Beaumont's. And you've got army facilities, odd springs. Looks to me like you've got all you need, right here. I guess I don't get why you had to go and annex Gormont. Morardain generally has a rather hot climate, you see. We developed by actively exploiting technology which uses the heat, as well as that we obtain through salvage. But as the Titan nears the end of its lifetime, the temperature has started rising steadily. Ironically, while this has made our heat power technologies even more efficient, our farmland has done very much the opposite of flourish. The Titan's lifetime, eh? Yes, it shouldn't be long now. The day when Morardane's Titan becomes uninhabitable. Sensing that, the Senate started a war to conquer a new home for our people. That'd be go much then. Indeed. You realize there was a better way? Was there now? Our two governments could have just talked, got to know each other, become friends. We could have worked together on this. Just like you and me. We were enemies at first, sure, but now we're allies, fighting on the same side. If our nations could have done the same, it wouldn't have had to come to war. Perhaps so. If everyone in this world thought like you do, terror and strife wouldn't be so commonplace. Oh, come on. You're not just gonna give up, are you? What do you mean? If there's no need for strife, then we should just get rid of it. Rex told us, right? If we reach the world's tree, there'll be no need for fighting anymore. You think Elysium is the answer to all our troubles, do you? I don't care if people laugh. Call it a pipe dream or whatever. I'd rather be an optimist than just despair of a state of the world. <laughs> you have a point. I hope you'll lend us your strength to reach that goal, Morag. It'd be grand if we could count on your support. I will. They call me the Empire's finest, and I intend to prove it. This capital of yours is pretty prosperous. Far cry from Beaumont. Is that how you see it, Mia? Well, am I wrong? Your technology is so much more advanced than Beaumont's. And you've got army facilities, hot springs. Looks to me like you've got all you need right here. I guess I don't get why you had to go and annex Beaumont. Morardane generally has a rather hot climate, you see. We developed by actively exploiting technology which uses the heat, as well as that we obtain through salvage. But as the Titan nears the end of its lifetime, the temperature has started rising steadily. Ironically, while this has made our heat power technologies even more efficient, our farmland has done very much the opposite of flourish. The Titan's lifetime, huh? Yes, it shouldn't be long now. The day when Morardane's Titan becomes uninhabitable. Sensing that, the Senate started a war to conquer a new home for our people. That'd be Gormont. Indeed. All this because of dumb pride. What do you mean? You didn't have to act so highly mighty. You could have been humble. I don't know if you were refusing to show weakness, or if you just felt you were better than us. You put your damn pride above all other things and chose to invade. Am I wrong? You started a war. Wanted to save lives, you ended up losing lives. How backwards is that? If you can't make enough food, why not just bow your head and ask if you could share? I mean, we were enemies once, but now we understand each other. 
How could a sodding govern not even think of it? A point well made. But the world is not as straightforward a place as that. Sometimes the most obvious way is the most difficult to take. God, people are such a pain. No question. That's exactly why I want to support the boy. And other upright people like him. You mean Rex? A world with no strife. Can you imagine something so wonderful if it were true? And if there's anyone who could ever make it true, it's him. Every age needs its own dreamers to forge new paths, after all. <laughs> You're full of surprises, Mora. You always struck me as straight list. But here you are, believing in the Elysium story. It's not just little boys and girls that follow their dreams, is it? I too want to see the fruits of this dream you all share. That's why I'm with you. Well, whatever you want to. It's nice to have you with us, Mora. Yeah. I think we can make good use of the Empire's finest. Please do. No matter what path we tread, I'll be there to help you on the way.